Apologies for crashing a party late on this one. When labelling somebody as a literal pedophile, I needed to make sure that I am 200% certain and that all my sources are factual. I needed every single piece of proof and evidence to be valid. I'm finally going to be talking about one of the more serious problems in this community that has ever happened. The individual has gone by numerous aliases. Shameless Cun, Optibites, Adorable Marina, Nonce Cum Forking, and most recently, Cartoon Adrian. This sick-headed bastard behind all of these accounts is a 23-year-old trans male, Marina R. Gutierrez. Although you may have already seen numerous shitty videos get created rashly and unplanned, I wanted to take a few days and deeply analyse the situation. To my surprise, there was no solid evidence in most of these videos released thus far. Just fragments of cut-up DM messages, numerous Tumblr accounts, all varying in usernames. There was no direct link. Not a single screenshot that showed Cartoon owned the sexually explicit fan accounts, and even if he did, would that even make him a pedophile? Drawing sexualized child characters getting raped in BDSM intercourse situations surely is absolutely fucked, don't get me wrong. Yet not a single person was able to show valid evidence proving Cartoon had any intentions of having these relations with actual real life minors. The only thing that would matter in court. I guess this really shows the true maturity of the AJ community. I was literally going to defend a pedophile, in fact I had to rewrite my entire script numerous times. I did not care about any backlash I would receive nor the consequences my page would get. I knew exactly what it's like to be falsely accused and slandered in this community of immature twats. I felt personally inflicted to give Cartoon a platform to defend himself. There was absolutely zero proof which stated Cartoon is interested in or wants to perform sexual actions with children. Until now. Hi, I'm Patch, and I finally managed to somehow structure this shit show of a story that is Cartoon AJ's downfall. I'm here to confirm Cartoon is in fact a child predator and has been asking underage girls for nudes. I will also show the full extent of all of his actions and an analysis of him as a character leading up to the present events, and I will show of course full proof to every single point I'll make. To fully understand the situation, I decided to delve deep into the mind of Cartoon. I analysed his content, every single one of his accounts, his fucked up fetishes, his limited thought process, his motives, as well as even his art style, as believe it or not, this plays a huge role too. Although there is now limited info on Marina, through his extensive AJ journey there is a lot that can be discovered. Cartoon was primarily an Animal Jam Play Wild Instagrammer, one that was slowly rising in the ladder of popularity through mostly his art. Cartoon was an inspiring artist and due to my personal enthusiasm into this, I spent some time researching his art, works and style. He drew primarily anthropomorphic animals, mostly ones found in the game AJ itself. I was however quick to notice odd similarities across his works. A small detail that would prove to be a large starting point, the entry into the cartoon rabbit hole. The guy had an extremely obvious fucking foot fetish. He paid extreme close attention to adding detail to the character's feet, emphasising their textures, size, shaping and more. You may think this is a useless detail that doesn't mean shit, however this is one of the first links to all of his other child nudity illustration accounts. Over on Nose, he did the exact same thing, even starting commissions for foot art. The direct links were here all along since the very beginning. Our community was just too obscure to see it. The way in which I found out about this situation was through various Instagram posts receiving a lot of attention over the past few days. Absolutely terribly written, unclear, structured, quote-unquote, warning posts. Don't get me wrong, it was good to see members from the community finally taking a stand and speaking out, however when all you do is post a picture of a fucking yellow hazardous warning sign, providing absolutely no proof or even telling people what's going on like shash over here, you're going to look like a giant idiot. 
All this girl was able to say is, there is a bad article on someone, report this person in-game. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is pathetic to me. Probably due to the amount of time and effort I put into the research and presentation of my information. If you're going to expose somebody for being a literal nonce, do it right. It was obvious to me I was not going to get any answers for some time over on Instagram, so I put out a notice to my followers for proof and a full story. I carried on researching elsewhere. I looked over on YouTube, the sites where I would find even more intellectual 200 IQ insight into the topic. There was one short 30 second clip getting shared by someone called Bethany XX18. The video was just absolute garbage, once again lacking any sorts of evidence or even audio for that matter. Just some upbeat music telling people, cartoon has quit for drawing bad stuff. Alright, so when you search up Cartoon AJ Pedo or just Cartoon AJ Exposed, these are some of the videos you get. And as you can see, pretty much all of these are just a repost of this one video by this person named Bethany XX18. All of these are just 20 to 30 second clips. And Vorency isn't much of them, which is honestly quite scary that nobody else is talking about this issue because it's uh it's probably one of the biggest pieces of drama that's happened in this community and, you know, it's honestly actually serious. It's sort of sad to see no other big jammers talking about this shit as it's actually a serious issue when you know all of these jambassadors, all of these popular Animal Jam YouTubers not talking about it. It really suggests a lot about, you know, that the only thing they're here for is that trip to VidCon. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to play you quick the original video. This is the Bethany one that everyone, you know, thinks is so great that everyone's reposting this. So let's give this a watch. See what proof and evidence they provide. Is it just this annoying music? Rather whole background. Yep. No voice at all. So here they point out that cartoon has been... Le leaked to uh, have drawn images on Tumblr, which is totally not the case. He's been drawing this shit really publicly for everybody to see. So once again, calling it leaked is kind of like suggesting a whole other story, like it was doing this privately or personally, which is totally not the case. He was providing all this for people, possibly even other pedos, who knows. Well, this is just one of the many, you know, mistakes in this 26 second clip. Alright, so here we have these uh, pathetic Instagram posts I was talking about. You see those with the massive um, explanation marks. So they're basically, you get these kids on Instagram who are trying, you know, make a massive exposure posts or things like that. But they clearly don't even talk about the issue fully. They link an article so people can't even click it, but they'll explain the full story. And one of the only things I've really focused on, like that person before, you know, the drawings, is just the art, which is totally not the case, you know. For a f this person is a full-blown pedo who have been asking kids for nudes. I think that's a lot more important than drawing some shitty drawing. <laughs> surprise, surprise, this person's 13. You know, this isn't a whole critique on this person's channel or their video, but this is honestly such a shitty made video, and I really hope that, you know, more people... Especially more mature people such as the Jambassador should have made videos addressing the situation and not left it up to 13 year olds to look at these disgusting images and have to search through all of this, you know? It's just like, it's just not right. We have all these community managers and all these Jambassadors doing fuck all and you get these 13 year old kids making these pointless videos showing zero proof or evidence. It's just quite sad. I began losing sight of any possible leads until I saw a link in a repost of this cancerous video directing me to an article. THE article. A large, somewhat in-depth piece of writing detailing the undercover journey of Cartoon's alternative Tumblr accounts, in which they posted the derogatory artwork of underage TV show and game characters participating in sexual acts. Some of these fetishes involved BDSM, incest, and of course, as previously seen in his AJ account, feet. The text seemed to be well written, however, also seemed to be unbiased slander. The author seemed to, like he had a clear vendetta towards Cartoon. For example, the continuous ways in which they referred to Cartoon as a nonce without providing any evidence that they are merely even interested in real kids. Of course, the things they expose them on are absolutely fucking weird and should not be considered a social norm. However, I'm not sure if this would legally classify as them being a nonce. 
Cartoon could have possibly gotten away with all the consequences up to this point. However, the mole just kept digging. Maybe we could have considered the fact that Cartoon is just a slightly deranged individual that is pleasured by drawing underage characters getting fucked. Maybe he could have kept on this shenanigans and separated his inappropriate art accounts from his Animal Jam related page that he would start getting a fanbase for. But being the idiotic Neanderthal desperate virgin he is, he just couldn't stop himself. This creature began asking underage children, kids that probably looked up to him as someone of an idol, for nudes. I honestly just have no words for this. A few days after my initial research, actual proof was sent to me and I finally discovered the much needed links that clarified that Cartoon did in fact own all of these Tumblr accounts and he did ask children for nudes. Thanks so much Wolf Arsenal, Try, Leafy Kiwi and everybody else that messaged me providing leads. Every single person that messaged me helped me out greatly on this video so thank you. A load of children have been protesting and outraged that Cartoon's in-game accounts has to be banned. And for those people, I just want to ask, are you retarded? There are much bigger things to worry about. We should be asking ourselves, who else is this sick-headed individual could have manipulated and contacted? How many kids could he have taken advantage of? Are there more like him out there? Cartoon is a child predator, which some people seem to forget about or just not understand. He has run away from all social media and I can personally guarantee you that he will not be coming back. No matter what username he goes under next, not on my watch. What we should be doing is looking at an issue like this and treating them more seriously. It doesn't matter if his fucking Animal Jam account gets banned, which it shouldn't by the way as he didn't violate any in-game rules. What matters is that we take extreme caution especially around individuals of his age. Our Jambassadors of a beloved community manager did not and will not do shit. They are useless and cannot keep any safety in this community and you must accept that fact. Only you can speak up about inappropriate actions or comments from twisted people. And when you do, make sure to show actual valid evidence and not make a useless, pointless, good for nothing post or video. And if you are not able to even do that, then tell somebody who will. We can't let things like this slip through the community and persist for so long. I'm not saying jump to conclusions and call everyone a nonce, but stay more vigilant. I promise I will always be here to expose bullshit like this across the community, although I will need some people to be my eyes. I personally do not recommend blocking or even unfollowing Cartoon. Wait until he comes back, and when he does, well, let's give him the treatment he deserves. Of course, only if Karma and the FPI do get to him first.